we're ready to show off phase two of three of the pending additions to our new executive summary report builder. For those of you not aware, these updates were exclusively comprised of feedback from the Synchro community. This update adds just one module, but it's a big one. We're adding the ability to report on the presence of custom field values. Since this new module allows you to report on a nearly limitless amount of data, we've given you the freedom to name these blocks anything you like. As with many other modules, you have the ability to display how many assets meet the criteria as a total quantity or as a percentage of this customer's total assets. So these are the four custom field types that you can report on. Let's take a quick look at each one individually, starting with the text field. Here you'll notice that the operator changes based on the custom field type. For text fields, you can look at values that equal, do not equal, contain, or do not contain any given string. Note that you can even leave the value empty and report on all custom fields that have no value present at all. Next up we have checkbox fields. These are relatively straightforward as they're either checked or not checked. Then we've got drop-down fields. Here you can search for any custom drop-down field that equals or does not equal any of the predefined drop-down values. You can also leave this value blank to search for custom drop-down fields that don't currently have a value assigned. Lastly, we have date fields. Date fields can be searched by dates before, after, on or before, and on or after any date you specify. This allows for any number of unique scenarios such as reporting on warranties expiring this year or subscription expirations, etc. With this level of freedom, you can report on any custom field metrics you like, and we're so proud to have developed this hand-in-hand -hand with the Synchro community. Our new asset custom field counter is available to all Synchro accounts starting today.